Helen Nee here with Eyes on the Game. I'm here at Mayweather Boxing Club being joined by Devin Haney. Now you just, uh, you have your fight around the corner, January 11th. Happy New Year. Just finished training. First off, how has this camp been for you? Uh, thank you. Happy New Year to you and, you know, to everyone watching. Training camp has been good, you know, uh, prepare for this, you know, like I prepare for any other fight. You know, um, I'm feeling good, uh, I'm feeling strong, and I'm feeling ready. Yeah, now, is there anything in particular that you worked on? Because uh, looking at Nomeva, I do know he has a good right. So what do you see in him? Um, you know, I see a, a, a good, young, uh, hungry fighter. I know that he's that he's coming to win. You know, he's from South Africa. You know, he, he, he has his, his country on his back. And I know that, you know, he's going to come to fight. So all I could do is, you know, prepare my best, you know, for anything that he brings to the table. You know, any style that he brings, you know, I prepare for, for everything. Now, I did talk to Luis Tapia, um, who did help train him for a bit. And he said that Nomeva is looking to finish you and to knock you out. Uh, what do you make of that? Well, you know, that's what I expect from any any opponent that I have. You know, anybody that I fight, I expect for them to get in there and, you know, try to knock me out or try to finish me or try to do, you know, anything they can to win. So that's not nothing new, you know. And I would I would expect, you know, him to, to try to do that to anybody he gets in, gets in the ring with. But how do you see this fight going for you? And how would you like it to go? You know, in the end, I see myself victorious. You know, uh, I can't I can't plan, you know, the, the future or anything, you know, if if you know that the knockout is presents itself you know of course i'll go for it you know if if it's a clean you know win uh um then you know I'm, i wouldn't be mad at that you know in the end you know the, the the best thing you can do is just win you know yes that w is all that matters but looking at him um what was the thing that intrigued you most about kind of taking this fight uh well you know this is a big opportunity for me because he's 25 and 0 and i feel like you know he's uh a good opponent to to take me to the next level so yeah. th that was that that was you know very important to me you know I've, every opponent that you know they have sent me I, I asked for the toughest one and he was the toughest one that came so of course you know I, 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 I took it so are you hoping this will really kind of uh, propel you really into the rankings and whatnot like the top 10 well I'm already in the top 10 of, yeah. uh, uh, of three different sanctioning bodies you know I want to be you know in the top five after this um, you know we're fighting for the WBC international title you know so hopefully after this fight I'll be in the top five and hopefully get uh, a title eliminator who would you like though for that eliminator all the champions at 135 you know I'm not into name dropping or any, anything like that you know but I do want all the champions at 135 you know it's it's not one of them that you know intrigues me the most for oh I say I want him or anything you know I'll fight any one of them yeah and I I know that you like to stay very active and very busy so how many times do you see yourself fighting this year well you know not to look ahead or anything but you know after this fight I'm going to be in you know some some big fights so who I, I'm not really sure on how busy I'm going to be but I know the fights that I am going to be in are going to be you know world-class fights and people do love to see you fight i'm sure they're all excited to see you back in the ring january 11th um but i do know recently you said that you see yourself as a contender and not a prospect can you kind of you know elaborate on that yeah that's actually a good question because you know a lot of people are kind of confused on what that meant you know i got a lot of you know uh a lot of good attention from it. a lot of people liked it but they really didn't understand what it meant but when I say prospect prospect is somebody that's coming up you know that's trying to get to the top or you know coming up or you know trying to make a name for themselves I feel like I'm already there you know I'm there I'm ranked in the top 10 of three sanctioning bodies like I said so I'm, I'm already I'm already up there with those top guys yeah and I do know uh, because Teofimo Lopez I, I know you're very uh Last time we spoke to you guys were at the same gym, City Boxing, um, and you did say something about him where, you know, kind of him being the prospect of the year and whatnot um, and kind of putting some rumors to rest. So can you let your fans know, you know, just like why that talk keeps coming about and what you thought of his fight against Mason Menard? First off, I didn't say anything about him being prospect of the year. I said that I didn't want prospect of the year. This is before anybody got prospect of the year. I never said I, I never said anything about him winning prospect of the year or anything, anything like that. But, you know, at the end of the day, he has 10 fights. I have 20 fights. You know, I'm ranked higher than him in the rankings. So, I'm like I said, I am a contender. He is a prospect. He has 10 fights. I have 20 fights. And second of all, um, 
I know that you know he's been going around saying that he got the best of me in sparring, and he said that on your channel a few different times, which is totally untrue. And I've been, I, you know, I didn't, I didn't, I really didn't pay atten pay to pay attention to it that much because when when I spoke to him, he said that he was just um, he was trying to build a fight up. You know, I understand that. You know. He's trying to market himself. He's trying to build a fight up, and nothing is wrong with that. But when you're spreading lies, and you know, the world starts to believe it, then that's when it comes. That be, that's when it becomes a problem with me because, you know, that is totally untrue. I got the best of the sparring. He was frustrated because he could, because he didn't he couldn't hit me. We sparred one time at uh, fight cap no fight capital, and we sparred hit one the second time here. He came back the second time because the first time he did so bad. He wanted some get back. So the second time we sparred here, he couldn't hit me. And then he kept wanting to do another round, another round. And he said, I already beat the shit out of him. So it was no point in to keep going, to keep going more and more rounds. But, you know, he's, um, he keeps saying that he stopped me. Nobody has ever stopped me in sparring, ever, ever in my life. And that's 100% truth. No one has ever stopped me. And, and if anybody has stopped me, then, then you know, the, all those guys that stopped me, I want them to come out now and say that they stopped me. So would you say you're on a different level than him, too, professionally as well? I mean, I, I clearly just said that I'm a prospect. I mean, no, he's a prospect and I'm a contender. So, you know, that speaks for itself. But yeah. Lastly, uh, I do have to ask, because this is your second fight, you'll be promoting so can you kind of talk about you know your promotion uh, company and you know with that yes this is a, this, this is another big fight for me as well because you know this is my second second time promoting um you know on on showbox and you know th this is big you know um every fight you know i want to keep stepping it up and you know i want to keep building my uh, company so after this will most of your fights be you know will you be promoting most of your fights or how is that going to work you know i'm my own promoter so you know every fight that that Every card that I'm on, of course, I'm going to be, you know, promoting whether, you know, I'm, I'm working with a different promoter or anything, you know, co-promoting or whatever. But, well, I'm still going to be promoting.